Hey there guys, this is John here, I'm back with a new video. It's another day in GTA. I've got just about like around a million dollars. Like 10 million, I'm sorry, not a million. So I just want to make at least another million today. So this is what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to show you a video where I make a million dollars in GTA starting with a nightclub sale. It's a good sale that we made around like 59,000. Should have been a bit more. I didn't really wait for a lot of money to accumulate. It's okay. We can make a lot of money in different ways. So this is an import export mission. Uh, this is kind of like a tricky part for the mission where you have to take the car and it's rigged for a bomb. Just have to keep up the speed as well. This was a very tricky part to do because the car was kind of rigged and had to keep it up so that it would not blow. But I did manage to do it in the end, even though it was kind of hard. Shit, man. At this point, I was thinking that I had lost it, but somehow. I did manage in the end to get the car. Not a lot of damage, just fifteen hundred dollars that we can pay up later on. Not not a problem. Not even going to sell this car. It's just going to be sitting there in the garage because only trying to sell the most profitable cars. This is a mid-range vehicle. It's not the top range, so I'm just going to keep it as it is, unless we have some of the players with whom I'll. I might have to make a sale later. Entity. It used to be a very popular car back in the days, but not anymore. I know why I killed that player. <laughs> He's just sitting there, I don't know. Let's see the bunker supplies, and this is a funny thing that happened. The Altruist group. People you see, uh, they're just keeping, keep on spawning like that. I kept on shooting them, they were paused like that, and they just kept on spawning just like that. See, this guy's just standing there, he's not doing anything, and keeps on spawning again and again. It's probably like a respawn point for these guys, and uh, they just keep on coming back and forth. So that was the thing that I want to share with you guys after that I managed to bring the equipment back. Scoop on the front to keep them off. Sound good? Great. Now it's part where we have to make a sale. This is one of the best missions for the sales in bunker that I like because it's very fast, quick, not a lot of hassle. We make very easy money with this one. Nice animation after that once you deliver the goods. The funny thing is that they sent a cargo bob at this location. Why can't they just send a cargo bob at our bunker to pick up the goods? This is one of the casino DLC missions, Agatha Baker. She wants her truck back, the security secures her van. It's held up by some people here, so let's just try to take it back to the casino, make the money. If you notice, the van would have a lot of cash, and uh, for this amount of cash, we are only getting like 10 or 20 thousand. That's not really fair. I probably should have taken the van back to my apartment. Are those bullet holes in the side? No, no, don't. Get around like 20,000 this one. There you go. She credited the money. Sometimes she would give you the chips. Other times she would just give you the cash. Sometimes it's going to be a mix of both. So it really depends on the kind of mission that you do. Let's deliver the Z-Type here. Get some more cash there. 98,000. Lost around 2,000 this one. Not even 2,000, just 1,000 I guess. Alright, so this is another headhunter. Let's finish up to get 21,000. It's a very good way to make 
cash 21,500 this time. Now I'm doing a bunker supply and whenever you have to come at this Mayweather HQ, try to bring a helicopter here. Instead of just coming down from the front entrance because there's so much security here it's going to take you half an hour to just clear these guys. It's best to just uh, bring a helicopter and then once everybody's dead after that you can go in and collect the product. Yup, everybody's down. I just need to find somewhere <laughs> where I can land the helicopter. That's kind of tricky here because we don't really have a lot of space. So this is the way I found to be more efficient. At least you can get the helicopter down this way, just like that. Almost crashed it there, and there we go. I kind of damaged the helicopter as well, but it's okay, no problem. So, <laughs> while I was trying to deliver the goods, I had to bail out because the helicopter was done. And this is one of the perfect landings that I'm going to show you right now. I use the parachute and I am going to target the bunker and the yellow marker on the bunker where normally you have to go to deliver the goods. So I'm going to try and land the parachute there. Let's see if we can do it or not. It's going to, uh, it's a lot of distance that I had to cover. Looks like we are making it at the moment. Just going to show you how to do it. <laughs> Yay. And we have the helicopters behind us as well. They could easily shoot through the parachute and I'd be dead. I'd be landing into the ground head down <laughs> but we are almost here and this is a very nice landing so far I think I've made it it's gonna be right at the yellow marker there that's how you do it perfect landing I'm trying to steal the supplies myself because uh, I'm not really wanting to give a lot of profit. It's just a couple of missions that we have to do ourselves, so. Fine, I've, I've got a lot of time, so. Just wanted to go through this mine with you guys as well. I didn't cut it out because it's kind of new. You don't often get through this mine or get to go to this mine very often. It's always locked. It's only unlocked for this mission. So there you go. We deliver the cash or the product. It's going to be cash later on once we convert the product. Another supply mission. The van is here. I guess we have a full bunker now so we can make a sale later as well. Let's try to complete a bunker sale here. This is the last part where we have to deliver the goods. I have the cooler to destroy all the enemy vehicles. Another friend helping me out on this one. I like blowing things up in the Akula, it's very satisfying at times. Come on. This guy's annoying, he's not letting me focus. Alright, the other guy got him, so. I guess that is good enough. We did not have a lot of product stored up in the bunker, so it's only going to be like 63,000. After that, we do another assassination mission, headhunter, another 21,000. Let's try to do a popularity shift mission as well for the nightclub because the uh, of amount of money that you get every time you complete this mission, and after that, you get money stored in your 
locker in the nightclub as well. Another 22,000 in the back. This is an Agatha Baker casino mission as well. Where you have to deliver this car. Some client lost it and he does not really want any paperwork done. So it's our job to bring it back without any police work. There you go. You only get around like 14 top for this one. And mind you, it's uh, double money on casino missions right now. That's the reason why we're getting 14. Otherwise, it would have been like 7,000 for this one. Which is not enough. 14 or 20,000 should be enough for these kind of missions. So. Now, this is the import export. We have to get this Osiris back to the warehouse so that we can sell it. I'm gonna do it right away. Took a lot of damage there because the other person was an impressor and he could not match up the pace of the cars and had to take a lot of damage for this one. Okay. Because I did not really stop to take out the other guys, I just kept on going. This time we did stop and I pulled up my tank so that I could get the NPCs out before we could do the delivery not to lose any more cash on the vehicle. I think this is it, there's nobody else coming down so let's finish up this sale. So remember I started at 1,019,000 and it's almost we only are around like 300,000 short on getting 11 I mean 10 million 19,000 so 300,000 short on 11 million this is another Agatha Baker mission somebody is trying to rip off the casino machines and making new chips cashing them out so we have to destroy the business here everything is like outside it should be inside a warehouse or something right so anyway The kind of business that we might have in the biker section. Somebody's trying to rip us off. Alright, there you go. Counterfeit operation destroyed. This is a document forgery mission. We have to make sale here. Let's try to do it. Sell the product. It's a boating mission where we have to deliver the product by boats. It's the longest mission of all. Uh, this is a very boring mission and also the post op vans. They're like the killer of all the missions. So We got an extra bonus for somebody else being in the lobby as well. 122,000. That is a good amount. Make a sale. Another casino out. work mission. That severance. So the quicker and quieter we the employee he got better. fired, he Head just runs away place. with some Do extra chips. And don't leave a trail. We have to get that. Chips or bag of money, I don't know. So we got the bag of money and it's uh, going to be inside the casino. Getting some extra cash back. Mind you, I've got 96,000 as well stored as cash, so we have to back that as well. Another 31,000 out of the terabyte missions, diamond delivery or diamond shopping I guess. So this is it guys, so once uh, we add this into the bank it should be around 11 million and uh, it's almost a million that I made in this video. So this is the kind of thing that you can do as well, it does not really take a lot of time and you can make a lot of cash. So with that, John T. I'm signing out. You have a nice day. Bye-bye.